For years, the world has been led to believe that Africa is a continent filled with problems, lacking in innovation and technological advancement. However, that perception couldn't be further from the truth. Africa is not only abundant in natural resources that fuel industries worldwide, but is also home to brilliant minds capable of pioneering groundbreaking inventions. One such innovator currently challenging the status quo is Maxwell Chikumbuzo, a self-taught Zimbabwean inventor whose ideas are so revolutionary that they have the potential to disrupt the energy and electric vehicle industries. Born in 1970 and raised in one of Zimbabwe's densely populated neighborhoods, Maxwell's journey was anything but smooth. By the age of 14, financial difficulties forced him to drop out of school, yet his curious mind and relentless spirit did not wane. Unlike most children his age who played with store-bought toys, Maxwell spent his childhood dismantling and reassembling gadgets, creating new devices from discarded materials. By the late 1990s, he had already built several impressive inventions, including a homemade radio transmitter, a digital navigation system, and a small turbine engine. But his most significant breakthrough came in 2009 when he turned his focus to green energy, formulating a radical idea, extracting electricity directly from the air. At first glance, the concept seemed impossible. How could energy be harvested from thin air? Despite the skepticism from the scientific community, Maxwell claimed he had successfully developed a technology he called microsonic energy, designed to capture and convert radio waves into usable electricity. His system required no traditional power sources, no wires, no batteries, just pure self-sustaining energy drawn from the atmosphere. Naturally, his assertions were met with doubt, as many scientists dismissed them as unrealistic. Yet Maxwell was undeterred, allowing his inventions to speak for themselves. One of his most astonishing creations was a self-powered television. In a live demonstration, Maxwell showcased a TV that operated entirely on his microsonic energy system, with no visible power cords or rechargeable batteries. The idea that a television could function indefinitely without conventional electricity, solar panels, or batteries seemed like something out of science fiction. But, Maxwell boldly declared that this was no fantasy, it was a real-world innovation. He claimed that his invention could transform how people use electronics, particularly in urban households looking to cut electricity bills and rural communities lacking access to stable power grids. Not stopping there, Maxwell introduced the Green Power Off-Grid Machine, which was based on the same principle. This device, he asserted, could generate electricity without reliance on solar panels or conventional power grids. If successfully scaled, such a machine could provide sustainable energy to entire communities, potentially solving many of Africa's long-standing electricity challenges. Then came Maxwell's most ambitious project yet, a self-permitted electric vehicle known as the Seth EV. Unlike conventional electric cars that require charging stations, Maxwell claimed his vehicle could recharge itself while in motion, using radio wave energy. If true, this breakthrough would eliminate one of the most significant barriers to widespread electric vehicle adoption, range anxiety. With a reported top speed of 220K-H, the Ceph EV was designed not only for sustainability, but also for high performance. Additionally, Maxwell asserted that the car could act as a mobile power source, providing electricity to homes whenever needed. A vehicle that never needed recharging and could power an entire household was an extraordinary claim, and while some were intrigued, others were deeply skeptical. After showcasing his inventions to Zimbabwe's president, Emerson Nangagwa, Maxwell gained international attention. However, his rising fame also attracted a wave of scrutiny. Critics, particularly from the tech community, began questioning the authenticity of his claims. Some conducted reverse image searches and pointed out striking similarities between Maxwell's Seth EV and a Chinese electric vehicle model produced by automaker Kaiyun Motors. Accusations began to surface with some alleging that Maxwell had purchased an existing electric car and a portable power station, repackaging them as his own innovations. Zimbabwean journalist Hopewell Chinono was among Maxwell's most vocal critics. He publicly labeled the inventor a fraud, claiming that Maxwell's microsonic energy device was, in reality, an off-the-shelf product available on Amazon for just $119. Chinono went so far as to post side-by-side -side images, alleging that Maxwell's supposed 2009 invention was identical to a device from a company called Brow, 
which had only launched the product in 2023. The fact that our state security services didn't fact-check this before allowing the president to endorse it is embarrassing, Chinono wrote. The world isn't just laughing at Ngagwa, it's laughing at Ngagwa. The controversy ignited a fierce debate online. Some Zimbabweans rushed to Maxwell's defense, arguing that his technology was ahead of its time and simply misunderstood. A user named At Watt Mandy stated, A group of scientists actually tested his generators years ago and were amazed. The problem is his inventions don't follow the usual laws of physics, but they still work. Meanwhile, skeptics, such as At Madagascar, challenged Maxwell directly. If his car truly runs on perpetual energy, let's see him drive it from Harare to Victoria Falls and back, without recharging. I'll even pay for the trip. While Zimbabwe remained divided over Maxwell's credibility, another African innovation was making headlines, one that was indisputably real. In January 2025, Senegal's automotive company, Akan Automotive, unveiled the country's first locally manufactured electric vehicle. Unlike the controversy surrounding Maxwell's work, this EV was backed by concrete data and rigorous testing. The car, available in two models, the Native and the Sahal, boasted an impressive 330-K range on a single 30-minute charge, according to market research firm Mordor Intelligence, Africa's electric vehicle market, valued at $1 billion, $900 million in 2021, is projected to reach $21 billion, $300 million by 2027, growing at an annual rate of 10.2%. The introduction of Senegal's homegrown electric car marks a significant step towards African self-reliance. For years, African nations have relied on foreign car imports, but this new wave of innovation proves that local manufacturing is not only feasible but also also profitable. The impact of Africa's growing electric vehicle industry extends beyond technology. It's an economic and environmental game-changer. Increased EV production is expected to generate thousands of jobs, from manufacturing to sales, boosting economic growth by reducing reliance on imports and enhancing trade opportunities. Furthermore, transitioning to EVs will help cut carbon emissions and reduce dependence on fossil fuels contributing to a more sustainable future. Perhaps most importantly, this progress serves as an inspiration for young African innovators, demonstrating that groundbreaking achievements can emerge from the continent itself. As Africa positions itself at the forefront of green energy and innovation, one crucial question remains. Are Maxwell Chikumbutso's inventions genuine breakthroughs or mere illusions? His supporters argue that the world has often dismissed African inventors, only to later acknowledge their contributions. His critics, however, demand tangible proof, urging Maxwell to provide independent, verifiable tests of his technology. Regardless of where one stands on the debate, one thing is undeniable. Africa is stepping up in the global innovation race, challenging preconceived notions and redefining its role in the technological revolution.